Hey Brian, how are you? Good to see you, Tracy. Good to see you too. You know, I'm really pleased to join the AUVSI team. It's just fantastic. And I know when I joined, one of the priorities that you uh, brought me on board to see through was the Trusted Operator Program. Do you think you can give me a little bit more about the backstory of the Trusted Operator Program? Sure. Uh, the idea emerged from a lot of listening that we did as a staff uh, from uh, beginning in January 2017. We, we launched the Remote Pilots Council uh, and we did that primarily using our chapters across the country and uh, had meetings in a lot of places to get folks together on a local basis to talk about uh, how it was going, to talk about regulations that were coming out. We had FAA participating in every single meeting. Uh, and you know, so we get all the questions out there and to talk about what was missing. Right? And one of the things that we found was missing was uh, a consistent way of doing training that remote operators could hold out to their potential clients to say, we've been trained at the highest levels, etc. Typically in aviation, as you know, that's done by one of the regulators like the FAA or somewhere, uh, a different regulator elsewhere. But in this case, we just decided, well, we can't wait for the, for the FAA to do that. So let's pull our resources and let's do it together. And hence, uh, we brought you on, a, a, an accomplished aviator, somebody who understands safety, someone who understands professionalism, uh, to help us uh, sort of get all of those uh, resources that are out there in the community uh, and, and, uh, and channel them into this program. No, that's a great idea and having been in the industry for a long time and been a member of AUVSI, I know that it's very important to have these things that go beyond compliance that a responsible, safe operator should have. So tell me, what do you see now about the timing? I mean, why now for this program? Yeah, why now is always the most important thing for me because there's so much to be done right? and we've got to prioritize and we've got to sequence things the right way. But we're clearly at that stage now, a year, almost a year and a half into Part 107, where we've got more and more people coming into the marketplace, and they have a very good sense of what their customers are looking for. Uh, we have some people that are out there that are doing training already, doing fantastic training programs, that all agree that the elements of these need to be at least in parallel with one another, and that's really all we're trying to do here. We're trying to pull things together, not get into the training business. AUVSI is never going to be in the training business, mm -hmm. but make sure that our trainers are coming together and agreeing upon what are the elements that we need, and now's the right time to do that so that if I'm an operator and I hold out that I'm a top uh, performer or a top member, then they'll, they'll be able to go back and, and test the veracity of that and see, well, that's what, that's what that means, and I can trust that operator. Uh, I can hire that person to fly near my substation or whatever it is that they're concerned about. You know, and that's a key key uh, word that you said there, which is trust. You know, we have to generate trust in this industry. And, you know, I've spent a lot of time in this industry. So, you know, this is a good time for me to ask you, why AUVSI? Why are we doing this? Why are we investing our time and our resources into this program? Because the members are demanding it, quite simply. Uh, this was actually uh, this idea uh, in, in different formats because you've been working with the members to, to kind of uh, to it, it develop it and evolve it a little bit. This idea has been around for quite some time. We knew at some point we were going to need to have a level set here on what the training was going to be uh, and, and, and what professionalism looked like. We know that we've got to have that in aviation, right? We, and like you said, there, there's a regulatory basis for that. And then there's what we aviators think we need. We've got our own minimums and things like that. And then there's the insurance companies. And then there's the people that actually fly. They demand the highest levels of professionalism. Mm -hmm. AUVSI has the members. Those members are recognizing that that's a gap. That's exactly why a community-based organization like AUVSI exists, is to pull those resources together uh, and to standardize that work. Mm. And I think the uh, top program is going to uh, go a long way into achieving what we know in the aviation industry as elements like airmanship, you're a pilot, I'm a pilot, you know, there are things that you can't put your finger on and those things are what the top program is going to, to tease yeah, out and, of the and, community. And you've been moving things right along and, and uh, you know, it's your, your high level of credentials that is attracting the people into this program, they're actually going to do a lot of the work. 
uh, or they've already done the work and now they're sharing that work as we always do in the association world. Oh, that's excellent. Yeah. Well, I look forward to continuing the work with the team and uh, very excited about the Trusted Operator Program. That's and fun. Brian, thank you very much. My great pleasure. Always. Yeah, I, there you go. Viewers, you have it. I think he's glad he hired me. <laughs> <laughs>